them all at the same time. All right, Kevin Amble, you just said at Tiger Bay that uh, basically Ray, Ray Stanson's gotten a raw deal, that, that Alex Leary left out a lot of uh, key information in his reporting. What was left out? Well, I, I don't think you have time enough to record all of it. I can give you a few highlights by way of example. The only highlights you gave was that other legislators were doing basically the same thing and nobody called them out. During this well, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know where to start. There's a, a two-hour dissertation on this. L let me give you a few of the highlights. Number one, uh, the community that Ray was representing up there had been trying to obtain an emergency response center uh, for 15 years. When he was on the county commission that had been a topic of conversation they had tried to fund it locally and so forth so that had been an objective of the community for many years to have a facility that they could use as an emergency response deployment center so you think though the plans actually listed it as an airplane hangar and there was all kinds of evidence that it was really designed as an airplane well, hangar having it, having been involved in land use and land management uh, many times for the Hillsborough County School District if they took a set of architectural drawings for a plan for the site over there by the airport to start with, and they were going to, and from what I understand, that was being modified for classrooms uh, to be used for emergency responders, and then in the event that you, there was a hurricane or natural disaster, uh, those walls could be broken out and they could be able to, to load the uh, trucks and the other large equipment into that facility. So it, it, I think it's irrelevant that you know the, the set of plans that had been used may have been plans that had been developed at an earlier time, uh, for an airport hangar. I think the point is is that Jay Odom up there has just opened a new FBO with 14 hangars. So he didn't need uh, a hangar from the legislature in order to press forward with his plans for an FBO. The school needed an emergency response center, was going to provide a degree in that, and was expanding to a four-year program. So uh, You suggested that uh, the prosecutor, Willie Maggs, is a, is a partisan Democrat and had an agenda. That's kind of a serious charge, isn't it? What do you, what do you base that on? It's a serious opinion, absolutely, and I base it on reading the presentment, which shows a, a, a clear uh, misapprehension if that really reflects the uh, the sentiments of the grand jury, a misapprehension of what the process was really about. Um, I had an opportunity to talk to Ray Sansom following his uh, testimony before the grand jury, and uh, he did so without any grant of immunity or any promises of any kind. And, and he basically described uh, the makings of a kangaroo court proceeding and the way he was interrupted, the way uh, the prosecutor was leading uh, the uh, members of the panel who were listening and reinterpreting his testimony and saying, well, now what you heard is, and, and, and then restating and re-explaining things to them that they had just been testified to in a manner that was contrary to the facts that they had heard. So those are the kind of things that, you know, I believe that when uh, he has an opportunity to present his case in open court, uh, before not just a, a court uh, and a jury of his peers, but uh, in the court of public opinion that will get to observe the proceedings and hear all of the evidence, I think he'll be exonerated. And let me ask one last question. There's some talk about you testing the waters for a run for attorney general. There's some Are talk you about testing the waters for attorney general? <laughs> well, I certainly would be very privileged to represent uh, uh, Floridians in fighting for their consumer rights. I've always been a a staunch advocate for the, the consumer and, and so you the talk to people you may run for attorney general. I, I've been approached by a number of people. I've discussed it with my family. Um, I think it's in the mix that uh, you know uh, it's a big undertaking. It would require giving up of my law practice and and making a lot of commitments uh, that are uh, may not be or may or may not be appropriate for where I am at my point in, in life. But I am absolutely. Uh, considering the, the possibility and, and the uh, call to public service to represent Florida consumers. And it what's would your, be a great honor if I did. What's your time frame for deciding? Well, I, <laughs> I'm i not saying that I, I have a time frame for deciding, but I'm certainly not making any decisions probably before the uh, the end of June. Has Jeff Kotkamp, speaking of controversial political figures, has he gotten a raw deal on all the attention on his travel expenses? Well, I don't know if you want to call it a raw deal. I think it's a... Uh, uh, perhaps a, a lot to do about nothing. I, I think there, once again, there, that's a situation where I've heard additional facts on that story that haven't been reported by way of example, that uh, Jeff Kotkamp attempted to pay uh, the Department of Management Services, which oversees the uh, air fleet for the state, for our uh, governor and for all of our cabinet officers and the lieutenant governor, and wanted to write a check out for uh, what he felt was the allocable share for uh, flights that he was accompanied by his wife and child, and they told him they didn't have any means for accepting the money. Right. And he was refused. Uh, the he was refused on his offer to, to provide that money. And then some weeks later, apparently Alex Sink, 
uh, was able to write a check out for all of her time, and then the story broke, you know, a week or so after that, that there was an issue about him flying on the plane. So, you know, I think that uh, fair is fair. All of the cabinet officers have used those. Uh, the presiding officers in both the House and the Senate have used those planes. I think they're there for a purpose uh, to be able to do the public's business. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay.